would like to just close this panel by asking our three panelists to give us an elevator pitch for why the sustainable investor should choose Thailand, Malaysia, or Brunei to bring their funds in and to help with the sustainable development in the country. Maybe I can start with Ms. Tong, please. Thank you. You know, um, actually, I, I, I would say if, you know, to attract the investment, I would say the regional um, uh, benefit or regional advantage is important, you know, to go to Thailand or Brunei or Malaysia or even some other countries, you know, like India. You just use, you know, the strength of those countries. So if you come to Thailand, as I mentioned earlier, that, okay, we are the one of the most by all the diversified. So this means the raw material, natural resources is there in Thailand. And also now, Thai, uh, the Thai government has improved the ecosystem of biotechnology and uh, biodiversify. We improve a lot, you know, and the skill, the skill of people in Thailand is the most important because we have a long history in the food and food processing. That is one of the strength of Thailand. So, and talking about renewable energy, is it, you know, the, the Thai government has the policy that already have an action plan, you know, to welcome the company that is going to utilize, you know, more on the renewable energy. So this is just want to welcome investment. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to Tengku. Yep. Thank you. Well, um, I agree with what you said. I, I don't think it's between Brunei, uh, Thailand, or even Indonesia. Um, but what's important is, again, I'd like to refer to the speech by Pak Menteri Bahlil just now. You know, we compete against each other, but we, it's important that we collaborate. You know, ASEAN as a block is the fastest growing block, you know, the fourth largest block. Uh, GDP growth for the last 10 years averaged about 5%. And we've seen the huge population of, you know, market access in terms of population in uh, ASEAN is close to 680 million. So if we can sell ASEAN as, as the epicenter for growth, which is a theme for ASEAN today, I think we can work closely uh, and bring benefits to who basically to the people. Is that what is the, at the end of the day, that's our game, right? We want our country to ensure that the growth is sustainable, uh, the growth is inclusive, and the growth benefits uh, the population of ASEAN. Thank you. Okay, very quickly, I think I don't disagree with whatever that was said, uh, because if we, as the smallest uh, country in terms of population, uh, we need to uh, sort of benefit from the regional growth. I think we cannot, we cannot just try to grow on our own. I think we are also dependent on our, all other ASEAN growth. And, and within ASEAN, we have many policies and so on that will actually help each other to collaborate with each other so that we grow together as a region. But just specifically on Brunei Darussalam, then of course, if you look at the map uh, in, of ASEAN, and Brunei is actually situated in the middle of ASEAN. We are two hours away from almost everybody. And so there is obviously a geographical advantage, but each, each country has their own unique strengths. And so Brunei, likewise. So whatever that fit into, fits in with the investors looking into this region, I think every one of us can benefit from that. Thank you.